My name is Helen, and I'm from Millard North. A few months before I was born, my parents made a list of everyone they had ever hated and made sure that none of those names would be considered for their first daughter. They wanted a name that was classic and beautiful, but also impossible to be made fun of. The name that they chose for me was Helen, bringing to mind the senile great aunt who thinks that CD players are the devil's work. <laughs> their choice seemed solid until I reached elementary school. What my parents had not foreseen was the indiscriminate cruelty of children, and how when there was something strange about you, there would be no hesitation to point and laugh at what makes you different. And what always set me apart was my flashing neon sign in a dark alley of Ashley's and Zachary's. On the playground, my peers would run past me and shout, Why don't you go to hell, N? And since I wasn't a skinny kid, I would be compared to a round, juicy watermelon. Water Helen. <laughs> As I got older, the teasing diminished, but that didn't stop the confusion surrounding my name. Talking to any adult that was hard of hearing became a cause of anxiety, because no matter how many times that I said my name was Helen, they would ask me, Kanna? Kellen? Coachella? Until I thought that I might explode from the tension and articulation needed to properly explain my name. Uh, once I had communicated that my name was in fact not Kevin, their eyes would light up as they said those four barfy words. Oh! Like Helen Keller. Yes, my mind would scream as I rolled my eyes so they practically fell out of my head and onto the floor. Please compare me to a woman who overcame all odds, wrote 12 books, and is pictured on Alabama's state quarter. Every time it was said, the phrase would rattle around in my head for a few seconds while I thought of everything I had done that day. Ate breakfast, went to school, studied my spelling words, took a poop. Those were my accomplishments, ready to be put in a history book. <laughs> Mythology was a nightmare of the Trojan War. The unreal beauty of Helen of Troy started a war, but the closest I ever came to starting a fight was in gym class, when the team captains would fight over which team would take me. Boy, did I feel small, until it was science class, and my teacher talked about volcanoes, particularly Mount St. Helens. As she said its title, the entire class would rotate to face me simultaneously, making one enormous rustling sound that made my heart skip, because all of the students in the class wanted to enjoy the irony that the big girl was named after a violently exploding rock. <laughs> I could picture each of their puny faces being melted by lava. Maybe being a destructive force of nature wouldn't be terrible. <laughs> but what the hell, And It was better than being a watermelon, because at least I didn't see a volcano every time I went to the farmer's market. A volcano would still erupt by any other name. A watermelon would keep tasting like dirty water. A blind and deaf lady would still be blind and deaf. I would be unchanged if a different syllable were, a ta were tattooed on my forehead, but since I wear this badge, I'm never off duty. When you say a word over and over again, it tends to lose all meaning.